Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change where your Windows notifications pop up from. So as you probably know, they show up in the lower right corner of your screen. So if we make one pop up here, for an example, all right, we can see that's how it looks right there. All right, so to change that, we're going to be using the free Windhawk app. So how that works is you install Windhawk and then you add mods to it, which will actually do the customization for you. So here's the Windhawk app. Once you install it, you'll have your home section, any mods you've installed, any featured mods. You have an explore section where you could browse through here, sort them, search for them, and so on. So we're going to be using one called Customize Windows Notification Placement. So what you would do is you would search for that in here. And then once you find it, click on Details and Install. But I already have it installed. So I could enable it because right now it's disabled. So I could enable it from here. I'll go to the details, enable it here. And then most of these mods will have a settings tab here. All right, so if you have more than one monitor, uh, you could choose which monitor to have it shown on. Uh, give it a name. All right, so let's change it here to something different besides the lower right. So let's say we'll do left. And you could actually change the distance from the screen too if you want to bump this up and down. We'll just leave it at zero, and then we'll leave this at the top. So we'll do top left instead of lower right. So you need to click on save each time you make a change. All right, so now let's run this again here. All right, so now we have top left. Let's say we wanted to do center for horizontal. And for vertical, we'll do center as well. And then we have it in the middle. And then, of course, if you change your mind, you don't want to use it. You could come back here, disable it to make it go back to the default, or you could remove it from Windhawk altogether. All right, so once again, install Windhawk. Look for this mod. Install it, change your settings, and that's all you need to do. All right, so I'll put a link in the description for Windhawk, and then you can try it yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.